What's up, guys? We're back on this beautiful home screen once again, where we're going to be talking about level 40 and the grind for Anthony Edwards. As you guys can see, the top right, I've been level 34 at that 70,000 XP mark for quite a while. I, the first week, I probably grinded up until like Dark Matter Mike Conley, and the next couple of days after that, I got to level 34 and basically stopped because well because Anthony Edwards isn't all that grinding however many hours it is probably at least like 24 hours for Anthony Edwards card that's not even that good it doesn't really make sense to me uh there's some good stuff in in the agenda tabs though like regard disregarding uh, XP. Uh, where's that? I think I missed it at the top, somewhere. There are these Dennis Johnson. Uh, where you you just lock in a the trip that offline and online exchange and get that card. What? Uh, and then there's also the the weekly Hall of Fame badges, which is pretty cool. That's a good add to the, to this. Um, that's pretty much it. If you're still looking for XP this week, uh, this far into the season, there's only like just under two weeks left. Uh, my career, easy, easy stuff. If you're half showdown, you probably already have it done. Token weekly stuff. New origin packs came out with a bunch of XP. If y'all are still needing that, which I assume you probably don't. Okay, so moving on from the uh, best methods to get XP. Obviously, it would be the promos, but is is the grind worth it? Let's start from level one. Along the way, you get Zion for just logging in. You get some ascensions. Some other players along the way, these uh, uh, lockdown packs and all these that is chance for Hall of Fame badges, sharpshooter reward pack, more ascensions. You get a pack, shoe boost, some tokens. Not really anything great up until level thirty nine, level forty, where you get Hall of Fame badge and then Anthony Edwards. So aside from anything, Edwards, the rest of it's not even really good, except for level 39, because the ascension board is, the player's not really that good, the rewards outdated, not really any new packs in there, or any, any uh, updated M-tier token amounts, they've been the same the whole year, which 2K should definitely look into changing for next year, but Anthony Edwards... He's invincible, but if you just look at my squad here, I say DeRozan is way better than that card. And if you got the Rich Jefferson from last season, he's he he played toe to toe with that card. Maybe Sealy is going to be way better defensively than Anthony Edwards. So there's a lot of better op options for uh, a lot cheaper for. Uh, a lot cheaper time wise and it won't cost that much MT. But I'm not gonna grind for Anthony Edwards. I don't I don't think he's worth it anymore. If he got him the first week, then he was worth it and playable for like a week, but now I say he just outda he's outdated and you just pick up much better options options for a lot cheaper. Right. And that's pretty much it.